Hi, from Singapore, I'm Brian. I'm Darren. And today we'll be having Milo Dinosaur. Actually, Milo is a very popular drink in Singapore and it's something that's tied to every Singaporean's childhood. Because uh, we used to have uh, bands, huge bands that dispense Milo at our sporting events when we were still in school. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. So this actually is the Milo Dinosaur. As you can see, it features the Milo with evaporated milk and condensed milk. And the dinosaur part will be the mountain of Milo powder that is on top. So you can find these usually at our hawker centers as well as our coffee shops and usually breakfast places. Yeah, so cheers! Hi, we are Tall Small. And I'm Jamie and this is Ed. <laughs> And we are here today to talk about one of Malaysia's most favourite drinks, Milo! Yep, Milo is basically in every Malaysian household, everybody has Milo at home. And you know, we've had it in schools, so you get the truck dude to come <laughs> and he brings Milo in a messy truck and still the best tasting Milo, but... Yeah, because it's made with tons of Milo powder. Today, I am drinking Milo with coffee. In Malaysia, that is called Neslo. For a big cup of Neslo, what you need is two tablespoons of Milo, one tablespoon of coffee, any type of instant coffee will work. We use Nescafe. You need some milk, preferably full cream milk, and then some hot water and stir it. If you like it cold, you can add some ice. If not, you can have yourself a nice hot cup of Neslo. Malaysians love drinking Milo. We add Milo to everything. We add it to food sometimes. We add it to Maggie instant noodles. We also add it on top of desserts. We use it as a chocolate topping. And some people even like just eating Milo by itself without any... <laughs> I do that. <laughs> yes. Milo. Neslo. Let's go. <laughs> we also have Milo as a snack. So in its powder form, I just grab a few scoops, depending on how much you would want to eat. Add in a bit of milk. Mix it up. So we want the consistency to be a bit thick. So this is the consistency that we are looking for. It's somewhat like an icing which you can definitely enjoy as a snack. Mm. There you have it. Milo as a snack. And Milo as a drink. In order for you to be energy, energy, got, energy, energy, got with Milo every day. Cheers! G'day from Australia, I'm Coops. We love our Milo here. It is a beloved national icon in Australia. The most important step of the Australian Milo is that the Milo goes in first. We want to do heaped teaspoons. One more. And the next part is we're going to put the milk in. We've got lots of dairy cows here, so the easiest way to get through all the milk is just to chuck it in our Milo as much as possible. This is now a fun little mine and we're gonna try and prospect the Milo out with our spoon. So rather than drinking it, some people like to mix it in, but I like it to be an interactive drink. So we're gonna grab little bits out and bring them to the top. Oh, it's bloody good. Hola, ¿qué tal? Me llamo José Luis, soy de Chile, y hoy te voy a mostrar cómo preparo el Milo acá. A mí usualmente me gusta prepararlo de la forma más tradicional que lo hacemos acá los chilenos. Esta leche la preparamos para las fiestas de cumpleaños y añademos canela y clavo de olor para darle un toque muy especial. Así que aproximadamente a una taza de leche voy a añadir dos cucharadas cargadas de milo. Y una vez que esto ya está listo, ahora es solamente cosa de añadir. Y ahora es solo cosa de disfrutar. Y así es como preparo el milo acá. Hola, ¿qué tal? Soy Rodrigo, soy de Perú y el día de hoy vamos a ver cómo preparamos milo aquí. Eh, bueno, nosotros cuando bebemos Milo, la mayoría de veces lo tomamos cuando somos niños. Creo que es algo en la mayoría de ciudades que eh, nuestra mamá nos levanta antes de ir al colegio y eh, tomamos nuestra taza de Milo junto con unos pancitos, junto con algo para acompañar el desayuno. Y bueno, más o menos lo preparamos así. Primero tenemos acá eh, la mitad de la taza, la tenemos con leche. 
y agregamos un poco de la leche tiene que estar caliente o el agua muy caliente y mitad y mitad, mitad de leche, mitad de agua, súper caliente. Después de eso vamos a agregar dos cucharadas de milo, súper cargadas para tener ese sabor chocolatoso. Y finalmente para agregarle también el toque dulce le agregamos dos cucharadas de azúcar. Es bastante dulce pero es muy rico. Después de eso simplemente revolvemos, como está caliente es muy fácil de revolver. Bueno, aunque a veces siempre puede caer un poquito de chocolate por ahí. Con eso nuestro milo está listo y así es como tomamos milo en Perú. Hola amigos, uh, my name is David. I'm from Colombia and today I'm going to show you how to make Milo the Colombian way. And by the way, we don't call it Milo, we call it Milo in Spanish. It's very common that your parents uh, give you Milo for breakfast, but I changed it a little bit. Okay, first of all, I'm going to measure up my milk by putting it into the cup. We're just going to put it, put it all in the blender. You take two big spoons maybe a little extra. That's what we call ñapa in Colombia. The word ñapa means like just like an extra. A little bit of sugar because I really like it sweet. Ah, oh, this is perfect. I hope you can guys try it and I'm pretty sure you're gonna love it because I still, I still love it. Salud! Welcome to Indonesia. Today I'm gonna to show you around um, how we drink Milo in Indonesia. Milo is a very popular drink here. It's sold all over and we'll be going to McDonald's to see uh, what it's like ordering Milo at McDonald's. So essentially, Milo is served in KFC, in convenience stores, so they just love mixing the ice because it is tropical here and they mix the Milo and basically water, not that much milk and they drink it as if it's like any other beverage. It tastes like exactly like Milo, water and ice. Cheers! Hi! Hi everyone! And today we are going to make Milo Dinosaur! So the first thing you need is Milo mm -hmm. and an awesome looking glass like this. I would normally put about two mm. spoonful of Milo powder and then we'll add the hot water. Mm. Okay. okay, and then this is condensed milk and we'll put like about that in. much. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to stir, stir it, it. And, and then we'll add in the ice cubes. So it's nice and cold. This is perfect on a hot day. So what makes this different from ice Milo is this part. And we are going to just have heaps, loads of Milo powder on the top. It's like a topping. And so this is how it looks like. I remember having this when I was younger. Um, I would always look forward to our sports events in school because there'll be a huge Milo truck waiting right outside our school and the perfect thing that you want right after a long day is an icy cup of Milo. And we hope you've enjoyed our video. Cheers! <laughs>